Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Where do you think you're As going? Suspected. You're not coming through here. Security won't allow you on board you in your in. current outfit. Ooh. We should avoid confrontation and look for another way in. Hmm. That mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. It might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just right act normal. Hold on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. You're in. Well done, Initiate. Huh. You don't waste right. Any time, do you? Now for the tricky part. 
Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game, you'll need a better disguise. <laughs> well, that's gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Yacht crew. Impressive. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforced... Who picks his own cabin crew? So tread carefully. Honey, the finest us look the world has ever seen. Chew your food Blending well. in, I see. Well done, initiate. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Clearly, Rita doesn't want to Sorry, be disturbed. Sailor. Try Sailor sneaking around the back. Is, I could have sworn it was stolen from the Stuyvesant's private collection in Boston a couple of years back. Wow. So you got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a Almost revolution. there. Fifty years ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first, this reactor, will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. You... Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Wait, was it glass cutter? Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Mission training complete. 
And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. I stay for it, isn't it?
Once again, great work initiate. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Soda's wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he... It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up. If I was nice, I...
Right. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Hey, see you, man. But six moves down the line. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else would there be a safety protocol? I'm not crazy about airplanes. Is it going to do that thing where it flips on its head? I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Don't worry. You're in good hands. Um, this way, please. So are we doing this or what? Hello? You, Grease Monkey. What's the holdup? Unbelievable. Mr. Knight, we did some readjustments to the jet, and we'll need to do another safety check. Is this strictly necessary? Uh, thanks. Don't get too close. Thank you, but I'm not interested. Threads, buddy. Okay. Hey, Mr. Knight, climb in the cockpit, please. Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay, all strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, we found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Towards an exit. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty.
I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Have fun. Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. There he is. That's me, the owner of San Quentin, right there. That is Victor Novikov. Head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB.
Decker, Mr. Novikov will see you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. Sure, Mr. Novikov is very busy. Uh, are we doing this or what? Everything okay? Good. Hey, how you doing? Escorting Max Decker. Mr. Novikov's order. He's been expecting you. Go ahead. Done, 47. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. I don't go around staging perfect suicides. No, I dare say young Kamarov got a taste of Victor Novikov. Ask me, he had it coming anyway. Nobody likes an overachiever. In the file, 
Must be pretty important for Novikov to cough up seven digits. Send it. Every bit of dirty intel the FSB ever collected. Yeah, our friend Novikov wasn't always in fashion, Carson. But the public has a short memory span. Uh, and now he's tying up loose ends. Securing his legacy. And our retirement life. Mr. Decker. How are things at the office? That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead. Gun in hand, office locked from the inside. In his safe, evidence that he was leaking state secrets to Link. An FSB section chief, Kremlin's golden boy, a CIA spy. Look, I don't know who you hired to pull this off, but I want his number. Trust me, you don't. The case file, please. Right, right. Of course. Last and only copy. There was an unfortunate server room fire at HQ. Misery loves company. <laughs> Mr. Decker. <laughs> you know, I do believe this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. The money's being wired to your account. Do I need to call my guy in Switzerland? <laughs> Why? Haven't you heard? I am an honest businessman. Dos Vidania, Mr. Decker. <sighs> well, that's that. Take a stroll, would you, Kurt? I'd like to save for the moment. You sure that's wise, sir? I'll be fine. Cheap, but it was damn well worth it. Good work, 47. Time to find Dahlia Margolis.
acid. Would you throw yourself on a grenade to save me? Like the gear. Payday next week.
Everything okay? Good. the dress code, but due to increased security measures, I can't let you through. sir. Green light. Go ahead, sir. Okay, let's see. Okay, Mr. Bond. I'm afraid that this is off limits, even to you, so, uh, go and find a 
martini, shaking nuts, turd somewhere else, okay? If you could show me the invite, please. Some bow tie, buddy, but I can't let you walk through here. Strict orders. Are you? Sorry. Ah, same shit, different day. Hey, what's up? Hey. We got orders to check anyone who comes through here, sir. I'm sure you understand. Sir, you can't come through here. Sorry about that. Thank you, sir. Please continue. Anyone coming through here needs a quick pat down, sir. Security measures. Nice tux and all, but uh, tight security means I'm not letting you through. Thank you, please proceed. Reading, sir. Just take a minute, no need to worry. 
We're the good guys, right? All right, good job, sir. Thank you. Stairs, not on the streets, just on this. Floor. Hello there. You're, you're joking, right? Mr. Jordan Cross, Fred Poe. You have been expecting my call. Last bid. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. Southeast Asia. Good evening. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, Mr. Um, Bidding. Reaper. Tobias Reaper. I'm a friend of Victor's. I see. I wish I had been informed. Well, no matter. Do enjoy the auction, Mr. Reaper. I will see you later. Looking forward to it. Pharmaceutical industry of India. Do I have an opening bid? Hey, what's up? Prince Paul. The sun and the moon, Smartwood. There's an item coming. Nice talk, sir. Courtesy of MI6. I see. Thank you for the information. I've been meaning to ask you, how do you do it? All this, all these secrets. What is your trick? <laughs> oh, you know how it is with magic tricks, Prince Poe. The answer is always a letdown. But if you don't tell us your secret, how can we know you're not doing the same thing to us? You don't. You'll just have to ask yourself whether the benefits I provide outweigh the damage I might inflict. Sir? Excuse me, sir. This is a restricted area, so I can't let you through here. Oh, don't be silly. I said you could call any time. When are you? Sorry, sir. This area is restricted at the moment, so I can't let you through. sending you after. I've seen him. It's not bad for a first gig. But what does Yago want with a rock star? No, wait. I get it. It's about that sect he's in, isn't it? The um, Church of Ascendants. Hmm, smart. Oh, trust me, sweetie. That that part is never hard. Not with looks like ours. It's just how their brains are wired. Leading man or not, you'll have him eating out of your hand in no time. Don't mess. Just keep me posted. And give me a. Don't get converted now. Take your time.
Please enjoy the show, sir. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The next article for sale is sudden power. Well, you nailed the dress code, but due to increased security measures, I can't let you through here. No, sir, you can't come through here. Sorry for the inconvenience. Dressed to kill, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. You have to finish me and hide me in a dumpster somewhere to get through here. <laughs> No, but seriously, I can't let you through. Move along, please. Stay for it, isn't it? Sir, not allowed to let you through here. Please step back.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. Chef Marcello Ray has hired a new kitchen hand by recommendation, and the two have yet to meet. Could be a convenient way to infiltrate the mansion. FYI, according to our research, Chef Marcello has been trying to replicate Isabella Caruso's famous home cooking, but Silvio Caruso is not impressed. I suggest you give him a helping hand. You always got excuses, Rocco. Just like Dad. Caruso will be coming to lunch shortly. His last meal, I presume.
That is Silvio Caruso. Feeling 100%, are you? I can, I can sense these things. Francesca DeSantis is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas. A notorious ladies' man, Vargas has turned DeSantis's bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso.
It's me. Roberto. Silvio let you off early. I want us to meet. Your room. Mm. I should say no. But you won't. See you soon. You're not coming in here dressed like that, Caddyshack. Nicely done, 47. DeSantis will be here shortly. I suggest you get in the mood. That is Francesca DeSantis. <sighs> Candles, my friend. Look, don't talk. Just listen for a second. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this I, I, under the right circumstances. The situation, it's complicated. You see, Ether, the company I work for, they didn't just send me here to assist Caruso. They sent me here to spy on him. They fear he is becoming a liability, a threat even. And from what I have seen so far, I think they might be right. This could be dangerous. I thought you deserved to know. So, <laughs> now you know. Now my bosses, they... <coughs> they say you are a distraction, and they want me to bring you down. So... <coughs> I don't know. I, I feel so. <coughs> oh my God! And the champagne, Roberto. Wait. There's a dead rat under my bunk this morning. Oh, good. Must mean the poison.
Hey, Caddy. Hey, what's up? Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um... I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man lost his life. Hmm. A good man. Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip-up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. An accident at the Ether Lab has claimed the life of a scientist. His body is currently stored at the town morgue, and a guilt-ridden colleague plans to visit there to pay her respects. Between them, these two have everything we need to infiltrate the field lab. But he's dead, Father. And nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, Aaron, am I... Turn around, Tiger. This is off limits to you. Please comply. I'm from the church. Can I go in? Uh, sure, friend. Uh, you can go into the mortuary, no problem. But just stay out of the morgue for now. Sorry. Company orders. I understand. How you doing? Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach.
This field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. In case of an accident, the central lab unit is kept perpetually doused in... Hey, string theory, keep it up. set 47. Time to kill the competition. There, in the sealed container, the virus prototype. 
Warning, dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Eat the securities in the dock about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see I did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even.
morning, 47. Your destination is the Italian coastal town of Sapienza, where our client, La Ventura Pictures, is shooting a superhero epic based on the cult graphic novel, The Icon. Your target is Dino Bosco, the film's director and leading man. A washed up character actor, Bosco sees the icon as his big comeback. Unfortunately, his rampant perfectionism and complete disregard for the budget has left La Ventura on the verge of bankruptcy. Still, he doggedly refuses to wrap the production. La Ventura cannot fire Bosco without violating their contract. That is why they have asked us to retire him before the whole studio goes belly up. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Today's shoot is already in progress. For the sake of authenticity, Dino Bosco's icon costume is genuinely bulletproof. He does, however, insist on doing his own stunts. So, I suggest you take advantage of Murphy's Law. Good luck, 47. insist on doing his own stunts. So, I suggest you take advantage of Murphy's Law. Good luck, 47. Feel the danger, I wanna feel the heat. Capiche? I need to talk about the
Hey, hey, you! Get the heck out of here! Something's not right, I can smell it. Uh, we got someone causing trouble. This guy's got a lot of nerve trespassing over there. Let me handle this. Command, we've lost, lost the target. Awaiting further instructions. And off. That's gonna hurt more!
Good evening, 47. Your destination is Sapienza, Italy. Your target is Marco Abbiati, a wealthy businessman returning to his hometown to run for mayor, a snake-tongued right-wing populist with mafia ties and money to burn. Abbiati is already comfortably ahead in the polls. However, beneath his silk suits, Abbiati is a callous thug, and organized crime is certain to follow in his wake. Our client, the renowned bioengineer Silvio Caruso, sees Abbiati as a threat, not just to his ancestral town, but the entire country, and he has asked us to dispose of this would-be patrician. I will leave you to prepare. Marco Abbiati is throwing a political rally at the beach to gain young voters, and getting close to him unnoticed might prove difficult, so pay attention. Men like Abbiati always have private scores to settle, away from the public eye. Good luck, 47. And a good day to you, sir. Excuse me for the update on the drop almost situation. No, it still hasn't turned up at the office. I'm on my way up there right now. Okay, better check all the shops on the way. It's very important that Abiati talks to us, so that means every shop. Got it. All right, good. Salvatore Bravomo, a local attorney, has allegedly gotten his hands on evidence that could... Uh, don't worry. We're having fun, right? To tell you the truth, I feel so light from the wine. 
I mean, I feel so rejuvenated. has put a relationship or job at risk due to excessive cell phones. Hey, I'm sorry, but uh, I need you to leave, okay? Rabiati will be with you in a minute. All right, you need to use the bathroom. Just don't tank.
Mr. Abiati can see you now. Anyone coming through here needs a quick pat down, sir. Security measures. Are you nervous? Oh, don't be. This is just a formality. And you're good to go. Thanks a lot. Nice to finally meet you, bravo. I've been hearing a lot about you. Good thing, Mr. Howard. Well, <laughs> everything is relative, right? Now, I hear that you love our fair town as much as I do. And that makes me happy. We elite need to stick together, build a better world, wouldn't you say? People talk too much. So, are we gonna do this? Whoa, whoa, slow down, amigo. I'm just here to talk. I apologize for the men outside, but I'm very high profile and need protection. We don't need to be enemies. We can become friends. Keep talking. You clearly are a man who knows how to cut through the crap. Don't let anyone in, you hear? That's a Roger, sir. Bravo, Amo. Let me speak frankly. That's what I do, and that is why the people love me. You have something that can, well, can put me in an awkward situation. An unnecessarily awkward situation. For you see, I'm only interested in what is best for this town. And that is money. Now, you can join me, or be against me. What will it be, Bravo? It's a life-altering question. I'll pass. Well, then I fear we have nothing left to discuss. But if those documents are ever made official, I promise you, you will be living on a dime. Target down. Now head towards an exit. Threads, buddy. Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. Good afternoon, 47. 
Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Keeping Strandberg under his protection. 
Anyway, in case of a security breach, all VIPs rendezvous at the underground garage and take emergency tunnel B to a shop downtown where they'll remain until escort arrives. Any questions? Thank you, Lassa. And stay safe out there, okay? When the security alarm sounds, Strandberg has been instructed to rendezvous with a team of Zaydan soldiers at the underground garage. Apparently, a secret tunnel runs between the consulate and a shoe shop downtown. This is how the banker plans to escape the building unnoticed. I suggest you locate that shop, 47. This could be a way inside the consulate, not to mention a chance to lure Strandberg into the open. Sir, you can't just walk through here. And a good day to you, sir. have to salute to get this post. Not bad, huh? I figure since no one knows about the escape tunnel. I mean, all we gotta do is... Oh, shit! What? Shit! I forgot to leave the all-access keycard in the parking garage. Whoa. Are you kidding? Uh, I need to get back there before XO tears me a new one. All, all right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel. It's way faster. Yeah, yeah. Bankers are cankers. Bankers are cankers. <laughs> Gotta admit, uh, that's pretty catchy. Uh, do -do 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 -do.
how you boys holding up down there? Well, all we gotta do is pick up Strandberg at the garage and escort him back to HQ. The non-combatants don't know about this tunnel, so it should be a cakewalk. Almost a shame, really. Wouldn't mind seeing Strandberg get a taste of mob justice. Uh, take it you met him. Was there when the assault teams brought him in. It's weird. Part of you wants to punch him in the face, part of you wants to give him all your money. It's a gift, I suppose. Tell me about it. Anyway, gotta get back to the garage. Later. Thumbs up. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Stand by. Something's going down.
I'm in the tunnel now, and I got nothing. I'm really hungry. Uh, is it all right if I, uh, if, yeah, okay, sir. Of course. I'm moving on. Come on, think we got some trouble. Tunnels are clear, sir. Moving on. Over. Whoa. Reporting in. We've got a certified troublemaker. That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. There's trouble! Get in gear! Command courtyard seems to be clear. Moving on. Over. Only the best men. You know it. Good show, 47. Strandberg is on the move, and we know exactly where he is heading. Put that away, cowboy. Well, that isn't the most wanted man in Morocco. This is Gate. The package is secure. Over.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco. Your targets, Kong Tuao Quang, head of a Chinese construction conglomerate, and Mathieu Mendola, chief architect at Tuao Quang's biggest rival, Hamilton Lowe. Mendola plans to double-cross his employer and leak non-disclosable company documents to Tuao Quang, including the confidential offer for a multi-billion dollar real estate project. In response, Hamilton Lowe has requested that we eliminate both men and send their competition a clear message. Kong has rented a rooftop patio for the meeting, but the location is as of yet unclear. So track them and eliminate them, and reclaim the documents. Good luck, 47.
Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. Mendola has just arrived. He is unaware of Kong's secret meeting location, but we know that Kong is hosting a lavish party at the Shisha Cafe, and we suspect the meeting will take place nearby. Good luck, 47. That is Mathieu Mendola. According to Intel, Mr. Kong is hosting a private party behind those walls. Invite only, of course. Though I'm sure one of the guests could be persuaded to part with their ticket. Looking sharp today, sir. Uh, no. I think he's out celebrating his granddaughter's 10th birthday. But he might be here, I'm not sure. Bloody peasants. You there. I'm Hi. sorry, but you're Spare not allowed to child. be here. Please Is your boss leave. hiding out back? Um, I haven't seen him. Yeah, right. Listen, I'll be waiting for him out the back. And I'm not leaving till he gets here. He owes me rent. Quiet, you all out this time. Understood? Care. 
going through the motions here. A puppet. That's what I am. Hi, it's me again. Look, I I'm sorry for bothering you, but he's here again. And he says he's not leaving until you show him. Come. Oh, the party can get back to I suppose it's time to mingle with the elite. Have fun, 47. Good evening. How is everything? That is Kong Duo Quang. Clear, sir. Move along or go away. Thank you. the first flight back to Hong Kong. Of course, sir. <laughs> Hamilton is always in for a nasty surprise. Those complacent idiots, like all of the West, have lost their fighting spirit. Well, their loss is China's gain. You're a wise man, Mr. Kong. Hmm. Yet it comes with sorrow. Now, let's mingle. What I've paid for. All apologies. I wasn't there. Just be careful. And a good day to you, sir.
organize the papers and fax Do you need anything? We what? Have a lovely you evening. You still fax at the consulate? Sometimes we have to. Everyone has gone over to you. You're kidding. No, I wish I was. That's not the point. I just, I just... Excuse me, Mr. Kong? Yes, my dear. What can I do? Objectives remain. Is everything all right here? Mandola's escort is not likely to get well soon, but he does have a job to do. Maybe you could give him a helping hand. Uh, he is sick. I'm. If I lose my things. Could you just give us a couple of minutes to finish this? Yeah, he's in a bad state. Uh, there's no way he can meet with our guest.
What? Excellent. Fancy get up. Mr. Mandola, please follow me. Mr. Gong, Mr. Sinti. Please take me there. Fancy get up. This is it. Good work, 47. Mandola is right where we want him. Now all that's missing is the host. So, this must be the rooftop where Kong and Mandola plan to meet. Gonna be okay. Your superstitions is great. towards an exit. Morning 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. 
cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Checking in. Name's Tobias Reaper. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. After you. Sir, please. This way. So, did I mention that? Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Hello. Let me show you to your room. Mister? Uh, there goes my next ex-husband. Uh, here you are, sir. You can always call reception if you need anything else.
Hello, Mr. Reaper. Enjoy your stay in Bangkok, Mr. Reaper. Well, it was nice to see Mrs. Mookjai sweat a bit. According to the schedule, the exterminator plans to inspect the Emperor's suite. On his request, the hotel manager will clear out the recording studio and bring everyone into the atrium for the duration of the inspection. I suggest you locate the exterminator, 47. He appears to be fumigating on the ground floor. Shit! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Oh, come on! Ooh.
right away, ma'am. Oh, you. I suppose you wish to inspect the penthouse very well. I'll make the call. But I'm warning you, no slip-ups. Especially not with young Master Cross on his way down. If any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, you could gas the whole atrium. Understood, ma'am. Yes, hello. This is the manager. I am so sorry to disturb you. Good day to you, sir. Sir, please show a little discretion. You'll frighten our guests. Sir, please show a little discretion. I guess there's a pest problem here. Don't talk. Nice day for it, isn't it? That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Good thinking, 47. I dare say the possibilities are endless. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered early this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, the claim of opposition, Jordan Cross. A notorious recluse, Thomas Cross has not left his private life for years, and authorities are now looking into a connection between the two deaths. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... Against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst. And finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive. To do. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that, I... 
I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. Right? I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear, but hey. It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. Not to mention how far she'll go. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks... You think she'll order us to be She does. I got a 45 cal with her initials on her. I hear you. Tell the geeks to get ready for inspections. Nasty little freaking yes, man. Sure, it's not too fault that he grew up in that crazy collective bar about the other guy. What do they call them? Sons of Solidarity? No, they're a bunch of left. But still, some of that stuff he's done makes my skin crawl. The oil rig, I get. But that government office in Auckland, where the kids die. Ross is to trust me. Yeah, of course he does. Rose is the perfect acolyte. Smart, he's ruthless, but like all fanatics, it's impression. No, no, I've met his kind before. Rose yearns for the gods, sure, but any gods will do. Because deep down, the only one is really the best of justification. Don't get me wrong, Sean Rose was born for this. The enemy doesn't expect it. Their cruelty, it's too, uh, it's too remote. You know, you sign a document, thousands of people die half a world away. It's unreal, like drone operators. But Rose and the boss, the enemy doesn't know how to react. The savagery. That's how we'll win. Bring a gun to a knife fight, huh? More like bring an axe to a chess game.
latest I hear about a training accident. That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. <laughs> a battering ram has injured one of the... Huh. I like your thinking. Be nice Help our body. Mozambique. I, like day. I have to say, it's a beauty. You know, I've been thinking a lot of... In school, they always talk a lot about separating. Report directly to me. Let's keep security. Heads on. What's Eric's situation plan? Rose has got it covered. Don't worry about it. I do want to see, because I'm not near you. Execution's one thing, escape is another. Gustavo Torres is not just some corporate suit. He's bloody secretary of the interior. Well, it's a good thing we have the support of the locals. What does that mean? The Delgado Hotel. Delgados. We're in business with the worst crime cartel south of the border. Politics makes strange bedfellows. Anyway, you should be relieved. Yeah? Why is that? Nobody's better at making people disappear than the Delgados. This kid gets better and better. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, provide. The point man is back in action.
Let's get to it. Burgess is back. We're finally ready to make this happen. I expect you all to know this by heart. But in case Amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Farm life, huh? Marvati, please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks, ready, set, execute. <laughs> won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Bloody wanking hell! Rose is down! Shit! You got five by five, drift to six, come in. Someone's dead here. Can't rule out South Bay yet. No visual on Tango, moving on from the bar. Stay alert. Look over there. Understood. There's trouble. Get in gear.
Okay. Game time. Uh, you uh think you can hook her? Great is for you. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to buy it. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn us. It'll be interesting to see how she reacts. Is she gonna ask if I said to shoot or will she be up there? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? What if Rose is gonna find her a kick her ass, I imagine? Wait. Now I'll try again. The bloody Russians had like a sound like Try it again. We need to talk. Your... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything in the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. That's it. Going to the Mile High Stadium was like a refuge, you know, during those long years. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, 
Listen, guys, I appreciate your dedication. Please, can you just let me have some alone time? I've got to focus, and it's... Well, it's not easy with an entourage, okay? Thank you. Name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanishing. Make it look clean. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. I just, I just feel like I could have made a difference. It wouldn't be my first motorcade, you know. have a hard time grasping it. Print out our own weapons. Go. The guy, the guy has a burger tied up in the interrogation room. He's one of the enemy's couriers.
conscious. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Sorry. Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players from all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross, Klaus Strandberg, Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure.
found something. So does. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits. He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Clan? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the Hyperixel Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare.
Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Soda's is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Genki Daska. Come on, Enjoying your stay. Maybe you can tell me. The boss was connected. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Sorry, sir, I can't let you through. Got my orders. You heard him, sir. Go. Now. and too little heat. Pampered weaklings with their delicate skin. No, I'll pass. Maybe later. How are you, sir?
Well, it certainly appears that Yuki Yamazaki is a fan of yoga. A schedule near the hot springs reveals that she has booked the trainer all day. Feeling flexible, 47? Find out, Terry. Terry. Look, I know you're only twelve. <laughs> no, don't get mom, Terry. 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 Terry.
I'm having a look. God, this is so impressive. Don't faint now. Just, just get to the restroom and get it out. A little privacy, please? What are you doing? You, you've got to leave right now, okay, please? Hey, I'm sorry, but uh, I need you to leave, okay? Hey, would hey, you mind? mind? A little privacy, please? Oh, uh, yeah.
Yoga man. This is Yamasaki. Sorry, sir. I, trust I can't let you through here. Please move Our on. people, director. Don't forget to put you here. Of course. We appreciate you clearing the operating system. Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Glad you're here. If you will just follow me.
Well done, 47. Now to make her spirit and body fly. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with Upward Facing Dog when you're ready. Fluid movement. Very good. Now, transition into Lord of the Dance. Remember to breathe throughout. Warrior two pose. Core, strength. Stay there for a while. Changing sides. Be strong. And finally, tree pose. This one is tricky. Find a good spot for it. Target down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Are the final details in place? Oh, well, he was very handsomely rewarded. Not that he fully understood the rarity of the boy's magnificent heart. Poor heart. Well, that you know, say, I do still wish we'd be able to put it into someone, well, younger, frankly. There are only so many years left in the world. Such is the nature of my art. I take and I give. Perhaps once Soda's body has given up, I can recollect the heart. There's a certain poetry to that, I think. Oh, no, no, that's for another time. We'll talk again. I take it you're enjoying yourself here. Kama is an amazing place. I mean, to think of all the good work we do here. It's really a blessing to be part of it all. The director is so progressive and inspirational. He brings it out and makes me want to be the best. We're calm, stay focused.
It's Ito. You called earlier. Good day, Doctor. Anyone can mistake that. Good evening, Doctor. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. I can't let you through here. Please move on.
47. I have intel regarding the pilot. I managed to gather intel from the hospital's security system. The chief surgeon, Nicholas Laurent, seems to have frequent rendezvous with a helicopter pilot near the remote person. in his brain, and it monitors and adjusts. For an old acquaintance of ours, she's booked her fifth replacement. You guys are so cool. Seriously.
I found this thing just lying on the ground. Wait here. You hear gunshots run like crazy. Nails, I, uh... Yes? Need another pill. The effect is waning. This way, Doc. Hey. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. Not an errand boy. Lead the way. Sir, if you want to proceed, I'm going to have to do a quick routine check. Just I, I had some planning lessons myself, actually. Didn't get the license, though. Well, I always felt my hands were destined for something great. Danger, good to go. Thanks a lot. Hello there, pilot. Surgery is probably the toughest thing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure flying a helicopter is a challenge as well, but you've got the autopilot. Here we are. Help yourself. Thanks, Nails. You're a champion. Easy does it, Doc. I'm, I'm fine. I can, I can take it. I just need a kick in the ass. Well done, 47. This should provide you with the means to get close to sodas. Good evening, Doctor. Evening, Doc. to wear that coat, huh? Have a great day, Doc. Oh, no, it does. Phew.
That is Eric Soders, former training director at the ICA. Regrettable. Both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. Patient unresponsive. Patient. Human That's a little harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. The patient did die. Famous for it, though.
Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs> 